Arashalawam, Kaha Lodium Light, Hal Bashim Yosha, Bashim Kakatash, Double Nurse and Tia, the Supposers of Great Muslim, the others on Down, Salish Salutations, you since Yakim, doing the work of Yah Bashim Yosha, Bashim Kakatash, in spirit and truth and sincerity. First John, the first chapter, verse 18. Because we have these dumb fucking demonic, soon to be destroyed, self proclaimed Christians who are claiming that. We don't know what the Father looks like. We don't know what the Lord and Savior looks like. Well, the scripture says the opposite. Okay, we know what God looks like. The one you ignorantly know is God and who you know, ignorantly know is Jesus. The name of the Father is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. And the scriptures have a, dis uh, a very clear description of what they look like. Both of them. Now we're going to go to it. This is a first John 3 and chapter 1 verse 18. No man have seen the most high. Let me just read it plain. It says no man have seen God at any time. And the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, have he have declared him. Right there it tells you that the Father the Father has been declared by the Son. Meaning what the Son, Yahweh the one the, the world ignorantly still called the name, but who know him by the name of Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah. He have declared the Father. Now let's get with, where, where the Lord and Savior declares the Father. Okay, let's go to it. Where does he declare the Father? And we're going to go in the book of Daniel after this following scripture in St. John. That is St. John chapter 14. Alright, it's St. John chapter 14. Verse, verse, uh, verse 8, it says, Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and he sufficeth us, so that we can be satisfied. Show us the Father, we see you, we know what you look like. Yahweh So show us the Father. We also want to know the Father because since because because you've been sent of the Father, we will like to know him. Just like all these nations, all these different heathens, they know the, exactly what the God that they worship. They know you 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 you, can, you can't you cannot say to these uh to to the so-called Africans, the Hamites, uh, they don't they don't know who they worship. They worship their ancestors, okay. The dead, they worship the dead, okay. You you you, you can't pull out a uh, what do you call this uh, uh, a skull uh, of, of 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 whatever animal and say this this is your ancestors. No. They know what they worship. These East Indians worshiping a half man, half monkey. They know the God which they worship. They know exactly what they worship. They know exactly what their idols which they worship, what they look like. So they were asking here, the Philip was asking, look man, we also want to know what the Father, show us the Father. We want to also want to see him as we, as we see you, Yahweh Shai. We want to see him also, the one you're representing, okay, the one you came to do his will. We want to see him. Show us. First, uh, John chapter 14 and 9 says, And Yahweh said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have seen the Father. And how, says thou then, show us the Father? If you have seen him, if you have seen the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the one the world ignorantly out of the goddamn fucking foolish mindsets, have still calling on the name, of, still know him by the name, the name of Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shah. If you have seen him, you know his, his, uh, his, his true uh, image what it looks like his visage what what it looks like you have automatic 
automatically have seen the Father. Because was because he is an the express image of the Heavenly Father. He and the Father they look alike. Let's get what the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai looks like in Revelation, the first chapter, and we're gonna go to the book of Daniel. All right, this is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter one. Instead of this one, says the revelation of Yahweh Hamashiach. What does revelation mean? To reveal the unveiling, which God, the Most High Yahweh, gave unto Him the th to show unto His servants things which us which must shortly come to pass. And He said, he, and He sent and sanctified it by his angels unto his un, uh, by his angel unto his servant John so this is the revealing every revealing there's a reason why there is a description of what of what the Lord and Savior looks like because there will be down the line the seed of the wicked which gonna end up covering the faces of the true image of the Israelites of what they look like of what God looks like, of what the angels look like. Hence, we ended up with, with of this Renaissance art of the images of the holy images of the servants, the prophets of the Heavenly Father, being wiped out, being wiped clean. This is of Revelation 1, verse 12 says, And I turn to see the voice which spake with me and being ten i saw seven candlestick and in the midst of the seven candlestick one like unto the son of man who's the son of man the lord and savior himself yahweh shah clove of a garment down to his foot and gathered above the pups with a golden kettle and his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes as a flame of fire okay it says what his head and his hairs were white like wool he was all gray okay the hair on his face was gray his beard which he had because he kept the laws the statutes and commandments he never shaved off his hair and his face his beard they were all turned gray white and they were wool they were woolly in texture And his eyes was a flame of fire. He had red eyes. Going back to the to the prophecy in the book of Genesis, the forty Genesis forty nine, his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with of milk. It says his feet like unto fine brass, if they burn as if they burn in the furnace, and his voice as as the sound of many waters. Or uh, his feet like an unto fine brass was cut of brass. The weight brass uh, derives from the weight brown. So if you take anything, any form of metal, you put it in a furnace in the fire, you burn it in, and it becomes what? It becomes black. It becomes dark. And this is in the past tense. It's not in a continuous present tense. It's not saying it is burning. In the furnace, so you can say we see is red, is red. He was, he was, he was white. He's, he was a so-called white man. No, this is in the past tense, as if it burned in the furnace, and his voice as of as the son of many waters. So says what? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. He's an express image of the heavenly Father, an express image. Let's get that in the book of Hebrews and go straight into the book of Daniel. All right, this is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter one. And one says, "says God, who at sundry times and in diverse manner spake in the past time unto the fathers by the prophets, have in these last days spoken unto us by His Son, the Mediator." Uh, Yahweh, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. 
who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person upholding all things by the weight of his power when he had by himself purged our sins the Israelites sins Matthew 1 and 21 to die for the sins of his people to save them from their sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high and many of you you cannot just you are able to receive the truth the true color of the Heavenly Father and his son it is not it has not been revealed unto you because you still bowing down to Edomite supremacy aka white supremacy you love the devil that the Bible speaks that, that the scripture speaks of who has covered the faces of the judges and the, the faces of the judges is being uncovered right now and you just don't fucking like it you don't like it because you're still trusting in, in oppression He, Yahweh Shai, is the express image of the per, of his person. Okay, if you've seen the Father, if you've seen the Son, you've seen the Father. Let's get that in Colossians, and 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 straight straight away, Lord willing, go to the, uh, to, to, to 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 the book of Daniel. Oh, it is a uh, Romans, uh, Romans eight. In 2029, 20, 20, the 26. Uh, this is Romans 8 and 29. For whom he did for new, he also predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be that he might be the first born among many brethren. Okay, this image of the Son, okay, it is already preordained unto the elect to see the truth. Okay, it, that's how things have worked for Yahabash Miyahusha. That's how he has planned this whole thing to go down. Romans 8 and 29, for whom he did for new, he also did predestinate it to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he that he might be the firstborn among the many brethren. That's with us, Yahweh Shah. It says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Because these are one who, the ones who, who love the truth. The record, as the scripture says in, 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 let's get that one. Okay, let's get that one. Now, this is our first John 5. And now, this. First John 5 and 10 says, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not the Most High have made him a liar because he believeth not in the record that God gave of his son and what is the record revelation 1 I just I just read it okay that he was a man a dark skin melanin a dark skin melanated man who had an afro okay and had a beard on his face and his eyes were not blue he did not have blue eyes or blonde, blonde, blonde hair. He did not have that. That is the record, and we you supposed to believe on in this record. If you don't do that, the Most High have made you a liar. And this is the record that the Most High have given up, given to us eternal life, and and this life is in His Son. And that love you can only receive it if you if you have received the truth. And you love the truth and that's the truth let's go to the book of daniel finally okay now this is a daniel chapter 7 and 9 it says i beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as, as snow and the hair of his head 
like pure wool. His throne was like a, fear, a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Who's the ancient of days? The heavenly Father himself, the one you know is God himself. He's beyond time and space and matter. He's beyond that. He's the ancient of days. He is the ancient of days. He's beyond days, years. All right. The creator of all existence. Daniel, 7, Daniel chapter 7 and 9 says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. The, 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 the clothing which he was, he was wearing, the garment. So he had a body. So you Christians, what the fuck do you mean we don't know what God looks like? He's a spirit. He's just a spirit. Uh, in whose image were we made in the book of Genesis, the first chapter? Uh, were, we not, were we not made in God's image? So then we're supposed to be invincible. You're not supposed to be able to see me and see the, the color of my skin. Whether I have a, well, whether you have metal um, pigmentation or you don't have it. You're not supposed to see all of that. We are also supposed to be all be invincible. But no, the, we, we have to look so like somebody. And, and, and that color, yeah, the image do matter, okay. And by the way, melanin is normal. It is normal to have pigmentation on your skin. Okay, it's not some, some super duper miracle to have color on your skin. But it's a curse. Okay, having no pigmentation like Esau. The so-called white man has it. Leprosy is a clean leopard. Okay, that's a curse. That's abnormal. But melanin, that's normal. Woolen melanin is normal. It is not special. Daniel 7 and 9 says, I'd be held to the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and his hairs, and the hair of his head, like pure wool. Okay, let's get the image of what pure wool looks like. Now you see, this is the images that came up, I just typed in pure wool. And this is what came up. Alright. This is what exactly what came up. Look at this. Isn't this not funny? <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> hey, Dennis 7 and 9. I was just reading that. Look at this. Yeah. Now you see. Oh, I read Revelation, you see? Revelation 1, now you see? Hey man, I'm closing off with this one, okay? All praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakatash. Double honors unto these other apostles of goodness, on the others on down, salutation, peace, love, respect to the elect of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. Those who are receiving the truth and amending their ways, seeking the Lord and it. The kingdom of righteousness. Yahabashmashabashmakakatash. Brakatham to the elect. Shalom.